Good morning. <clears throat> Nick Markey here, physical therapist, online fitness coach. Going on my morning walk with the uh, Snickers here. <clears throat> this is the crazy corner. We'll see if the our dog friend is by the fence here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Anyways, um, I had a pretty good birthday yesterday. It was very good. Um, and I appreciate all the uh, birthday wishes and all that from my internet peoples. Um, today I wanted to talk about a pretty, I guess a fairly heavy topic. Um, in full disclosure, I'll, I'm going to be transparent about, you know, how I feel and, you know, how it's affected me as well. So I saw an interesting post the other day, basically it asked, you know, in terms of <clears throat> reaching your goals, are you on your way or are you getting in your own way? <clears throat> and this made me think of myself and getting in my own way because <laughs> that that would probably be my answer um and you know in terms of that like the idea would be like <clears throat> like kind of self-sabotaging behaviors you know so um you know say that somebody is trying to lose weight and um they do well, let's say they do well for breakfast and lunch and, uh, and then dinner, they're just, or at nighttime, you know, maybe they have a decent dinner, but then they just go crazy binge eating. So sabotaging, <clears throat> excuse me, their, um, progress. And then oftentimes that'll lead to wanting to give up because you're like, well, see, screw it. You know, I, I screwed up, so may as well not try. Um, you know, and I think that could apply to a lot of things, you know, if you're trying to, you know, achieve some other goal and <sighs> maybe you're, you're working at it and then things get tough. So, you know, you kind of just go, well, you know, that's why I'm no good. I'll just go ahead and, and stop. And I think I've, I've had a fair bit of that in my life. Um, you know, not, uh, not or, or talking yourself out of trying because um you don't want to maybe risk failure you know so there's like a fear a fear element to it um and then also <clears throat> excuse me the I forget what what i was gonna say the other reason was but it'll come back to me anyways um, I think obviously fear is a big part of it, you know, the self-sabotaging, you know, it's like the kid who's got the crush on the girl at a uh, school, you know, if he doesn't ask her, um, or doesn't tell her about his feelings and she can't say no, right? So you're safe. So it's like a comfort zone kind of thing. I personally have, you know, I think that the fear failure is a part of it for me and why I've got some of those behaviors and thoughts. Um, for me though, there's also a deeper core issue, um, you know, feelings of low self-worth to be honest, you know, so it's more, so I think for me when I've, cause I've been doing a lot of reflecting lately and these actually Facebook lives has helped a lot and I've been opening up a lot more to the people around me, but you know, feeling of low self-worth. So like not even worth, you know, this potential, you know, thing that I'm trying to achieve. Right. So like, um, if so, trying to work at, you know, trying to build a business or, you know, build a strong, you know, relationship with my wife, um, and that kind of thing. And 
this deep core part of me that fights back. Okay. It's really weird. Um, because I can, I can basically see it now. Like I've dug down, shown the light on it and I could see it clearly. And then I could think back through, um, my past and think, think of different thoughts and situations where it's clear that's kind of what was driving it. So it'd be like, you know, purposefully stoking a fight, you know, things going well in my relationship, um, you know, with my girlfriend, now my wife, and then purposefully stoking a fight, you know, trying to say something that was purposefully hurtful and I knew it and I knew it was hurtful and, you know, instantly regretting it, but not wanting to apologize. Um, it almost, like I said, it's being a way to like sabotage it because that core part of me that is saying, you're not really worth this. It's like I said, it's super weird. I can't be the only one that has this feeling <laughs> out of seven and a half billion people in the world or, you know, my, you know, something like 4,000 friends or whatever here on Facebook. So yeah. It, it, and I think when I look at it for me, I think fear is a part of it, but I think this self-worth thing is the strongest core to it. And I feel like I probably have hid hit it for so long and it hasn't done me any good doing that um, and you know the last several months like been under the most stress I've ever been not actually before quarantine so quarantine is not part of it but been under the most stress I've ever been in my life not spending a lot of time with my family um, and I think, you know, it just finally cracked and, you know, I did, you know, and I am working with, you know, a professional counselor. And so, you know, anyone that's going through this, I'd implore you to don't try to just fight it all alone. <laughs> you know, if you need to, you know, I'd highly uh, encourage you to, you know, seek professional help from a you know, counselor, mental health, professional, whatever, whatever class they are, <laughs> um, and open up, you know, I, I finally just like, you know, like I said, I've been like hiding it or fighting it, not wanting to, you know, show it because of that feeling of, I guess, being vulnerable. And that could just be that deep core trying to fight to stay alive because basically when you know people are showing you love and support you know that that's a conflicting thing for um that deep core at least for me the deep core that says that you're not worth it right because there are people showing you love and positive attention you know, and encouragement and support and all that great stuff. And potentially like when you start to actually find some success, um, in different ways. And those are all conflicting evidence with this core part that's saying, no, you're not worth it. So then it's going to fight back and, you know, potentially push, you know, really negative and self-defeating thoughts and potentially push you into actions, behaviors that can potentially try to tank, you know, what you're trying to accomplish. So, you know, for me, now that I'm aware, really aware of this damn thing, this little bastard, um, <laughs> like, I, I feel, one, like, a sense of some weight, I guess, being lifted off. Um, I feel, like I said, of a, a weird, kind of like a weird feeling that I can like 
see the damn thing. And like I said, link it and relate it to so many thoughts and actions I've had in my life. Um, and then, you know, to be honest, I, you know, like I don't want it to win. I want to have a life that is enjoyable and, you know, fulfilling. Um, so I'm not going to let the bastard win and going to fight it. And so the way I know how to fight it now is being open, right? I'm doing a, a Facebook live on it, right? <laughs> That's public, um, kind of crazy. Like I would have never thought of doing this, you know, months ago. And I've opened up with my wife. I've based, I've laid out everything to her and she's super supportive, you know, Brittany, she's, you know, super supportive and we're very open about it. And honestly, I've taken on a counselor, you know, because I want to work at it. I want to fight as best I can. Now, <clears throat> it is some sort of wiring in my brain. I don't know how much physiology you understand, <laughs> but basically it's some um, nerves in my brain that are wired this particular way, okay? Now, the question is, is, you know, you've got kind of a few different things. You have, you know, coping mechanisms, which would be like, I'm doing certain behaviors around, around it to try and um, mitigate it, okay? So, for this case, that may be like, you know, kind of constantly showing proof to yourself of the positive um, things that you are doing, the positive things in your life, you know, accepting, accepting love into your life, you know, from your family and friends, you know, not fighting that and not like thinking that's all fake or whatever. Um, and then you have potentially trying to alter these or, or rewire these neuron, you know, connections in your brain. And that's where the counseling could come in, potentially trying to, <clears throat> excuse me, unlink those things from uh, however they're linked up. Now, I know it's not guaranteed. That's, that's kind of the, again, from my position, I understand the physiology pretty well. And I understand the, the issue, so I'm aware of it pretty clearly, I feel like. Um, but that still, unfortunately, doesn't guarantee that I can unwire it, okay, fully. You know, there's, it's, it's a spectrum, maybe I unwire it. Maybe we rewire it a little bit, maybe we rewire it a lot of bit, maybe we wire it completely. It's, we don't know, you know. Um, but I will say, being aware of it, talking about it, being open about it, um, it has helped greatly. I have noticed when I start to, like situations that I probably would have reacted a certain way before, um, I, I don't get, I don't feel like I get as much of kind of that self, you know, worthlessness or whatever type of thought or feeling. And I, and I just feel in general a bit more enjoyment in just my day to day in life. So, you know, it, maybe it's already rewiring a little bit. Maybe I'm now potentially wiring a counter area. You know, maybe I'm, I'm wiring up like a, 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 a fight, <laughs> a fighting force that uh, helps me fight against that thought. You know, there's lots of different, you know, potential, you know, little things going on there. So I can talk about the, <laughs> the, uh, the physiology of it and the potentials all day. So I won't, I won't go too deep there, but 
like I said, I imagine there's many, many people that, you know, could be potentially going through this. And so one for me being open and honest about it is just, I, I find it helpful now. And I used to not, I used to think that hiding it all the time was the best action, <laughs> but now just being completely open and transparent about it feels actually pretty good, you know, um, not only just with the, my internet friends here, but also, um, you know, with my, my family and also, you know, professional, um, <clears throat> and two, like, I imagine there's, there's gotta be at least one other person who's dealing with something similar. And if maybe, you know, my words help them to any, any degree, um, I would like, that would be cool. You know, if someone else is going through this crazy thing or has that little bastard <laughs> riding, uh, getting a free ride in their head, you know, um, if they, if we can help somebody with that, I'd be happy as well with that too. And like I said, if, if you are dealing with this, you know, open up to your family and friends, talk to, talk to a professional. I'd highly encourage that, that you're worth, you are worth it. And yeah, I think that's enough of me ranting. I've gone on longer than I usually do on this, but, uh, and I think I'm going to keep tapping into this every few days, only not only for my own self therapy, but like I said, to potentially help someone else. So, and, you know, regarding my own things that I'm trying to achieve, I am trying now, part of what I want to achieve is to build my online fitness coaching. So with that said, if you are interested, you know, you could just reach out to me, shoot me a, a direct message, or, you know, you could drop you know, something, some comment in the uh, area here and just say, hey, I'm interested. And then we can have a conversation about it. But yeah, so I hope you have a magnificent Monday and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.